Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit the subscribe and or bell button for notifications of our upcoming videos. Today, I'll be going over what is rugged and what is semi-rugged. What makes a laptop rugged? So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about, and I'm not going to bore you with this, but I'm going to talk about the difference between rugged and semi-rugged and even business rugged. Panasonic has three distinct different versions of the tough book with a fully rugged unit, which is built to military standards. Then they have a semi-rugged laptop and a business rugged. So first I'm going to talk about the fully rugged Panasonic. So the fully rugged that I got sitting in front of me is the CF31. It is a beast. So if you take a look at, at it, everything is metal. You have a metal bottom, metal doors, you have dust sealed, uh, you have dust sealed port covers that keep dirt and water out of the ports, but you have this titanium alloy that is the covers which really withstand abuse. They also have better hinges so that it can withstand opening and closing or the movement of a car stopping and going if the screen's open, it's nice and tight. That's a fully rugged unit. Now here's some downsides on fully rugged is the weight. It's gonna be a heavier unit and you don't get a very large screen on a fully rugged laptop. That might be a, a negative for some people, but with fully rugged, you want something, you, you buy a fully rugged to withstand the elements. Another thing, and we're going to compare it when we get to the semi-rugged, is the hard drive. So what you want to take a look at is, and let me uh, just open it up for you. Yeah, we should open the right side. So... With the Tough Book fully rugged unit, you have a hard drive and a hard drive caddy. Now, this is important to keep track of because in a fully rugged, this hard drive caddy is fully cushioned. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a standard small SATA hard drive in there. And the rest of this is cushioned. Included is a heater that heats the, the hard drive up. So if you try to start it in cold, cold weather, it will wait and heat the hard drive up and then start up your laptop. That keeps it the hard drive from failing like, like uh, in cold weather. So let me talk about, that brings me to the semi-rugged actually, because I wanted to you to compare the semi-rugged to the fully rugged. So the semi-rugged, Still has the uh, metal alloy cover plate here to withstand abuse. It also, but it, it has plastic on the interior. So you have plastic bezel all the way through here. If you look on the bottom, it's plastic except for where there's metal doors. And I want to talk a little bit about the hard drive earlier. So the hard drive in the semi-rugged is going to be not as padded. So you can see the difference here that there's not as much padding to protect the hard drive. So you, you can still drop it, but it won't be as protected. It also doesn't have a heater, so it will not heat up your hard drive to protect it in cold weather. That's whenever they designed the semi-rugged, it was designed for the, um, it was designed for the traveling salesman. Hey, I got to pick my laptop up. I got to get on an airplane, I got to travel to a customer, pick it up, put it on a desk, open it up and turn it on and use it. It's typically in a conference room, in an office, that sort of thing. Very rare would you catch them in the middle of a factory where there's dirt and grime and dust and such. So you don't need a fully rugged laptop to do that type of visits. So this one will probably sit on a desk a lot um, or in, you know, traveling back and forth from home. You might bring this home, use it at home, and then come back to the office. You bring your laptop with you. That's what 
this semi-rugged laptop is good for. Now the third line that Panasonic came out with is the business rugged. Now, oh, I should mention also on the semi-rugged, you get a lighter unit by a pound or two whenever you go semi-rugged. So it's not as heavy, and that's because there's not as much metal. With the business rugged, you get a very light laptop. This is way lighter than any of these two. It's also smaller, but there's all plastic. It's no metallic alloy covers whatsoever on these units. You can see on the bottom here, it's just plastic. Even the doors that protect the memory and whatnot are also plastic. But it has its uses. It's still better built than your standard retail laptop like Dell or Lenovo or HP. You get the Panasonic quality still. And this, this particular unit here is the C1. This is their business rugged. It's in the same line as, say, the CF-T8. Does anybody remember the CF-T8 or the CF-W8? All of those units are in the same venue as this C1, CF-C1. They did come out with a C2, and I don't have one set in here. The C2 is also another semi-rugged version of, the, which was the next model above the C1. So they kind of got away from this lighter weight, uh, non-rugged, or what we should call business rugged laptop. The C2 is semi-rugged. It's almost in the same line as the 53, although I believe the CF53 is a little more rugged than the C2. So that's kind of what I got today on the differences in fully rugged, semi-rugged, and business rugged. I hope this helps to answer some of the questions that we get on a regular basis regarding, hey, what's the difference? We don't really know. Thanks for watching.